Well, we had a show where a client wanted us to project laser images in multiple screens. Uh, the screens were different sizes and shapes and uh, on different planes. For budget reasons, we only had one front projection scanner and it had to be confined within each one of the screens because there were performers placed in between the screens and programming on site was, wasn't an option. We were using a pair of argon krypton lasers for projecting aerial effects, atmospheric effects, um, at a theme park. Downrange in our projection field, there was a large uh, plexiglass sphere. Top part wasn't a problem, however, the bottom part was causing stray reflections to enter audience areas. There was no way we could use a masking element, a black wrap foil, piece of metal, to mask out that small a feature. We installed a permanent laser billboard display for a client located in a different state to our offices. Uh, the client offered a dual laser, dual scanner pair projection system, although the projection surface is made up of four different screens, each with a foot gap between them. We proposed that the display be programmed as one screen, which meant we were panning text and animations from screen to screen, as well as all screens at once. Uh, the problem we faced was that uh, given the gaps between each screen, um, programming had to be done on site. So let's just take a look at how projection zones might be used to solve these problems. We'll do this by contemplating a show scenario. In our example show scenario, we have two graphic screens one on the left and one on the right, and a beam scanner in the middle pointing upwards. First, let's set up the show scenario in the preview window. We do this so that we can program the show without having to physically set up laser equipment in our shop to duplicate the show venue. We activate the Projection Zones dialog box and then select the zone we want to use for the left graphic screen. We press the Preview Window Appearance button, which allows us to adjust the way that the image will appear on the preview window. We can adjust the size, position, and orientation of the image. Next, we'll set up the preview window for the right graphic screen and for the beam projector using the same process. For the beam projector, we'll select the option that we want the preview window to show the image as projected beam effects instead of laser graphics, and we'll drag the projector down on the floor so that the beam can project upward. Once the preview window has been set up, we can begin creating the show. Each track and show time can be assigned to any zone, or even to multiple zones if desired. You simply drag and drop frames onto the tracks, and it automatically directs them to the proper area. Once we arrive on site, the real fun begins. In this case, the client neglected to tell us that the left screen is actually a spherical object, and the right screen is at a sphere angle. This is no problem for projection zones, since each zone has its own geometric correction settings. You set up the geometric correction for each zone in a similar way that we set up the preview window. You select the zone, press the geometric correction button, then adjust the size, position, orientation, and other parameters for a perfect fit. In the case of the spherical screen, we want to additionally adjust the beam attenuation map so that no laser light goes outside the round shape of the screen. The beam attenuation map features standard drawing tools that we can use to paint the area that we want to control. The beam projector is set up in exactly the same way, and the geometric correction settings and beam attenuation map comes in handy here as well. Since we used a separate zone for each one of the screens, we were able to set the size and position and geometric parameters independently, and we were able to preview it all before uh, we got on site during programming. Uh, once we were on site, the projection zones allowed us to quickly and easily target each one of the screens and change the settings without any additional programming. Our clients were happy, the performers were safe, and the audience loved the show. We were able to use the beam attenuation mask to black that area out. Problem solved. Show went on perfectly, no pre-programming needed. Thanks to projection zones, we simply assigned each screen to their own zone, then used the preview window appearance tool to replicate the parameters of the billboard display, complete with gaps. This enabled us to program the show off-site and simply upload it via email. Projection zones has revolutionized the way we operate and has considerably reduced the cost to us and our clients. Shit.